YouTube, I am back with some more videos and today we're doing upgrades and we are upgrading the Lenovo G40 laptop. It's out of its brown box and anyone that didn't watch the unboxing, please go over to my channel um, and take a look at that as well as things video you'll really enjoy. Now, this is a sort of a standard video that's going to be in the front of um, all the upgrades just to save me a bit of time. Now, I really liked um, the laptop, but for £189 there are going to be a few things you want to do. I think the first is a RAM upgrade, um, then you might look into SSDs. Um, I'm also going to do a quick video how to swap out the disk drive um, and also how to remove the keyboard as well. Because I bought this laptop, this is actually not actually mine, it's for a friend, so I can't take it apart too much. I don't want to damage it, but I'm going to show you some um, really quick upgrades and then go into um, each upgrade and uh, everything you'll need for it so let's get started okay so in this video um, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the keyboard a couple of reasons why I want to do this a it might be broken or B it might be like what my friend's laptop is I've replaced her keyboard three times um, in the last year because her son keeps pulling all the keys off it he's only three um, I wouldn't let a kid anywhere near a laptop but you know you can't really keep eyes on them all the time so a few things for doing the um, keyboard upgrade um, one thing I always do, generally when you open it, it's got little um, tags on it anyway, like little keyboard symbols, so it shows you what screws to take out. But I always, if you haven't ordered the keyboard, um, or if you want to know if it's possible just by removing your old one, I just go on Google Images and find the keyboard and look at the reverse and you can see where the screws are. So then you can sort of figure out which ones you've got to take out your PC. So there's just a quick note, anyone that's new to keyboard um, changes, that's just a little tip I find that really helps you out. So let's replace the keyboard. Okay, so here we are, close to look at the laptop. Now, apologies, I do have a cold, and you're going to notice it a lot more now I'm stood right over the camera. And I will try and get these upgrades done nice and easy without stressing out, but I'm sort of like leaning over a camera. So, first things first is you want to power off the machine and remove the battery. Always do that. And then you're going to need a few little bits. Always like some tweezers. If you case you drop a screw in there, you can get it out. It's a lot easier. You don't want to be shaking it about. Anti-static mats are always good practice. I should have a wristband on, but it just gets in my way. Um, a couple of little technician screwdrivers. You can pick these up from like Poundland, 99 cent store, I imagine, in America. If not, you can sort of get them from Maplins for a bit more of a price. I've got a little posi. That's all you're going to need for most of the upgrades. And then just I've got a tiny little flathead for the keyboard. But that's for another video or the video you're watching. Um, and then I always, always like to, God my camera's just gone mental, I always like to um, have a bit of tape folded over to stick the screws on, duct tape's what you should use, this doesn't really work but it's just for show. So, how do we get into the laptop? Really easy, I've already removed them, you want to remove, see there's a screw here and a screw here and these are the two screws to my side and then you just slide it open and there you go, you are in the laptop, how easy is that? Okay, to remove the keyboard, first we need to be on the underside of the laptop and we need to remove three screws which are all marked by little keyboard pictures. And there is one which is the disk drive screw, but it's also the keyboard. Oh, I've already undone them so it's quicker. And um, so that one which I showed earlier for the disk drive removal. And then there's another one here which is actually on the base of the laptop without the screw, as you can see. And there's another one here which is underneath underneath a piece of Lenovo paper, so you are doing this upgrade at your own risk, and any upgrade you're doing at your own risk anyway. So just remove that one. And now we need to go to the other side of the laptop. So what I'm going to do, just so there's no debris or anything, just put your front cover back on. Let's give it a quick slide. It's not wanting to play ball, but that will do for now. Just so nothing gets in there. And then we need to open up the laptop. I'm going to zoom out. So I just sort of reset the video because it was taking me ages to get set up and get into position. Now this is where your ultra, ultra tiny, it's a real thin flathead is going to come in use. Because when you get to get these out, it's sort of jiggling it out. And you don't really want to damage the laptop and put little marks in it. Especially as I said, it's not mine. I shouldn't be doing this anyway. So first, let's start by the escape key. You see that, And you'll see this when you're in close. You can't see it in the video, but it's like little tabs. Put the screen right back, and there we go. And just hold it with your finger and go very slowly, never over pressure. Again, there's another one here by sort of the volume that's just sort of leverage. And then the next pusher is by the um, aeroplane mode key. And I'm just gonna slide my finger along a little bit more. Oh, I have already took this out, so it is coming out a bit easier, but you really just take time. But this one's gonna be really hard because I'm sort of bent right over the camera, but it's by the delete key. And there we go, just push that down, and then very slowly lift up the disk drive. The disk drive, the keyboard, I'm making too many videos in one go. Oh, it's a bit tight in here. 
and there we go so just kind of lower it slide it forward and then here you can find there's a tab there's also the tab for the track pad as well just flip that tab up actually do it with my finger flip the tab up and then there you go so that is how you upgrade it well just replace your keyboard either if the keys are all missing or if it's broken so there we go thanks for watching